the course coming on electric finish. Do it again. He's coming at Rainbow Bridge. He's a board leader and he will do it. The fifth race is the uh, Tibishina Stakes. It sets off the jackpot, the first leg of the first jackpot. It's a group two event, 1,400 metres, and it'll go off at approximately half past one. Graham Hawkins' numbers are 8, 1, 3 and 7, and my numbers are 7, 8, 3, 5. So we're a bit different here. Graham, let's uh, start off with uh, your first choice, number 8, Temple Graffin, and uh, that run over 1,200 metres last time behind Pretty Young Thing. Showed pace, and she still stayed on over a distance that uh, she's done well over, but I think now is, is probably not her I best think, distance. I think 1,400 metres is probably her ideal trip. Uh, she ran very well in a penultimate run behind clouds on fold over 1,600 metres, and as you've mentioned, her last run was over 1,200 metres. Uh, she's uh, run four times over the distance for a win in a second. It's a very competitive uh, renewal of the Tibishina Stakes. Healthy respect for the class act in the race number one, Silvana's Pride. In fact, the last time she won was over 1,400 metres. Uh, so although she tends to pre prefer a little bit further, she's got pole position. Keegan DeMello riding for Justin Snaith. The interesting runner, of course, is number seven, Gabor who won a grade one uh, over 1,600 metres at the back end of a two-year-old season uh, in July last year, but she hasn't been seen since. She's obviously had a problem, uh, so it's difficult to know what to expect of her. Uh, and the other one worthy of mention, I think, is number three, Master Keys. Absolutely nothing wrong with her form, and she's won three from four starts over the distance. She's had uh, four, four outings over, over 1,400 metres, and this daughter of Master of My Fate has won three of them. And last time out was an excellent effort in the Poinsettia Stakes behind Pretty Young Things. So healthy respect for Master Keys. So again, it is competitive, but I've given the benefit of the doubt to number eight, Temple Graffin. Sticking with Master Keys, or going back to this filly by Master of My Fate, I just like the way that uh, Nathan uh, Cotson has stepped her up slowly but surely to these little features uh, and she's really performed well, and as you say, especially her last run in the poinsettia was an absolutely cracking effort. Uh, would you be shocked if she toppled them all and won this? No, 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 absolutely not. I think she's got a bright chance. And you know, you've also got to give a mention to number two, Roy's Rivera. She actually finished ahead of uh, Master Keys in the flamboyant stakes. That was back in December over 1600 at Hollywood Betts Gravel. The thing is, Royce Rivera probably better 1,600 meter plus, and she hasn't had the benefit of a run since. So with Master Keys having uh, run on the 13th of June when finishing second to Pretty Young Thing, Master Keys over the shorter trip might have the edge over Royce Rivera. Uh, but uh, it's going to be an interesting contest. It's very competitive. A lot will depend on how well Gabor comes back. Yes. Um, and, and she's been priced up generously at around 6 to 1. So if there's uh, market support for her, then we need to respect Gabor. If she starts to ease out, then I think it's a clear signal from the stable that she's expected to need the run. One other horse uh, worthy of mention is number 9, Sleeping Single, uh, Justin Snaith's runner. Uh, she's uh, very, very consistent. Uh, she's had uh, three wins and three seconds from 10 starts. Stuart Randolph gets a ride. She might prefer it a bit further. So it's competitive. It's not cut and dried. But my top two choices would be eight Temple Graffin and one Sylvanas Pride. The Tibishina Stakes, the grade three, those are Graham's numbers.